Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, full moon tonight causing some bright light on the uh, nighttime landscape this evening. Uh, beautiful conditions, the air very dry, temperatures on the chilly side in some areas dropping down into the uh, upper 30s and still getting colder during the overnight. Of course, the air is dry, the skies are clear, so on live pinpoint, Doppler 12 radar not finding any precipitation as this dry weather pattern continues. Of course, we all know how mild and warm it's been this uh, winter and spring season, everything coming into bloom early, but you know, early April can sometimes go in the other direction. The case in point, 30 years ago today, April 6, 1982, 8 to 12 inches of snow. So incredible. You can sometimes get uh, winter weather, obviously, during the first couple of weeks of April. The latest snowfall ever for southern New England. Any guesses out there? May 8th and 9th. 1977 with several inches of snow that fell in Kent and Providence counties. We're not going to repeat history here, though it will be cooler over the next couple of days. We take a look at pictures from Providence right now. 44 on a north breeze at 9. Humidity levels remain very dry. It's been the case really all week long. Temperatures ranged from 43 in Smithfield to 32 in New Bedford, so already below freezing or near freezing. Below freezing in Taunton at 31, while westerly still very mild at 45, though most areas should get near or just below freezing during the overnight hours. Skies are clear, obviously, but take note of the deck of clouds dropping down from southeastern Canada and northern New England. This canopy of clouds will work from north to south and cover our area coming up tomorrow afternoon. So we'll start with some sunshine, some extra clouds in the afternoon, but it should stay dry. There's just not enough moisture in the atmosphere to create any precipitation. So starting off this evening and beyond, we'll keep those moonlit skies clear conditions. Here we are early tomorrow morning, starting off partly sunny, but but by late morning and throughout the afternoon, you notice the extra clouds that are rolling in, but no precipitation staying dry, and this will continue through tomorrow evening. Once the cloud cover settles in during the afternoon, it's going to level off the temperature, and it'll feel a lot cooler. So uh, jacket weather coming up tomorrow, and certainly chilly overnight tonight under mainly clear skies. Temperatures by tomorrow morning dropping off to about 30, 35, starting with a bit of sunshine tomorrow morning, especially early on, 7 a.m., 38, 11 a.m., 49, and not much higher than probably 50, 55 tomorrow afternoon under mainly cloudy skies. Guys, even during the afternoon, there may be a little bit of partial sunshine, but the clouds should win out. For Easter Sunday, still keeping it dry and cool, there'll be a storm system offshore with rain and snow, but that'll stay away. So intervals of both clouds and sun. The early call right now would be for clouds in the morning and a little bit of sunshine during the afternoon. Here's the temperature breakdown for Easter Sunday, looking at highs at around 55 by noontime and mid-50s at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, seven-day outlook showing uh, the cool temperature over the weekend. We do need rain. Now, you see some raindrops on the seven-day future cast for next week, but tell you what, there's really not much as far as amounts. These are just random scattered showers for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, neither day appears to be a washout. Daytime highs, upper 50s to low 60s, and nighttime temperatures in the uh, 30s and 40s. So, bottom line, no big storms on that seven-day outlook, and a cool and dry Easter weekend. Good news for the Easter egg hunts and eating marshmallow peeps all weekend long. Yeah, you've been doing that all week to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, right. kind of. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Coming up next.